we are going to be inserting a new slide that will contain a table. It'll be a graphical table similar to the ones that we did in Microsoft Word. So we are going to go to slide eight and then we're going to go to the home ribbon and we're going to click on the new slide button because we do want the default title and content slide. And for the title, we're going to key in timeline. And in the content area, we are going to click on insert table. And for the number of columns, we only want two. And for the number of rows, we are going to bump that up to nine. And then we're going to click OK. If you cannot see the ruler, they would like us to view it. So go to view and turn it on if it is not already displayed. And the reason that we need to see the, the ruler is because we're going to widen up our first column. And your insertion mark should be in the first cell in the first column. And so that is what is displayed right here. And we are going to left drag this to about six. Okay, so there's kind of this little line between our columns and that's where we are positioning the mouse. So once you get that to about the six inch mark, you should be good. And we're going to start with our insertion mark in the first cell. And we're going to key in activity. And then to get to the next cell, we're just going to press tab. And we'll key in date. I'm going to press tab again to get to the next line. And so we're basically going to key in all of the text in this table, pressing tab to get from one cell to the next. And I'm going to pause this video while I finish typing. So if you make a mistake, you basically just click on it, drag over it, delete, insert. Uh, operations in here are just like they were in Word, and they're also very similar to Excel. Once you have all of your text, then what we're going to do is modify our style just a little bit. So we're going to go into design and as long as your insertion mark is somewhere in the table, you will see the table tools design and layout tabs. And we're going to go into design and they would like us to pick medium style one accent one. So this would be in the medium group. And it looks like it's this first orange one in the first row. So let's go ahead and select that one. And then we're going to go into the layout ribbon. Now, if you have any issues with your table, okay, if you're missing a row or anything, this is where you would correct it. This is almost identical to what you saw in Word. There's not a whole lot of difference here. And what we're going to be doing is selecting our first row and then centering the text. So what we're going to do is position the mouse to the left of that first row. And when you see the selector arrow, you're going to left click. And then we can just give the command to center. Now they would also like us to increase the height. So right now the height is 3.65 and we are going to change it to four. And so you should notice now that that row is just a little bit taller as well. And they would also like us to change the alignment of the table on the slide. 
So we're going to go into a line and we are going to distribute the table horizontally. And you should notice that the table moves slightly to the right. So now there's an even amount of space on the right and the left. And at this point, we are going to go ahead and save our changes.